when I make my decisions, I make them off of 10, 15, 20 year investment decisions. I'm not making it based off of a meme stock. I'm not doing it based off of what's trending on Instagram and Facebook and, and TikTok and, and Snap. I'm not making any decision based off of a short term. I Let me tell you how I stay faithful. Let me tell you how I stay faithful. When I'm talking about faithful, I'm talking about to my wife. It has nothing to do with whether or not I like women or women are fine and all of this other type of stuff. When I look at that chick, even beyond loving Rita, even beyond how it's going to play in my daughter's life, even beyond what it's going to do for me in the, sh in the near term, I'm always paying attention to how this person can any way, shape and form add any value to my life long term. Oh, wait a minute. She just the thing. She just fine. Listen, I don't care how fine you are, baby girl. I'm going to need you to walk that way because ain't nothing happening over here. Rita asked me a question yesterday, and I thought it was a interesting question. Rita peppers me with questions all day. I'll be vlogging. I'll be talking. Rita's my number one assistant, just to let y'all know. Rita's my assistant. So <clears throat> a lot of the different things that I wind up, taken care of business-wise, she is my eyes and ears. I mean, in addition to making sure that she does her job from a networking perspective and takes care of business and lives in her femininity, I would say that 96, 97% of anything that I wind up getting myself into from a business perspective, from a visibility perspective, um, getting certain things done, making sure that she's the person that carries out the things that I says needs to be done and taken care of from a business perspective, whether that be going out and just getting stuff done, mailing stuff, answering phone calls, setting up my meetings, making sure my calendar is taken care of. Rita is my eyes and ears. So I'm used to her peppering with me with questions all day long. And some of the questions are relevant to the business, right? And the things that we do on a regular basis. But then other questions are specifically tailored towards just her curiosity, right? It's just her curiosity. So she asked me a question yesterday and we we out walking around in the mall and she peppering me like, Anton, I know I got the new MacBook Pro and I know I got the new iPhone Max 13 inch with all of the whist bells and whistles, but I need an iPad too. I said, Rita, why you need an iPad too? That video will be dropping today on my other channel. But anyway, so she asked me another question and she said, you know, I've known you since we were, what, 13, 14 years old? I say, yeah. She says, how many people do you interact with today that you've known longer than me? And she thought she was like, she thought she was just going to get more accolades. I said, well, quite a few, honey. So I got this person, this person, this person. She was like, really? You know that many people that you've known longer than me that you still cool with and you interact with? I said, yeah, babe, I do. I know. Hey, listen, I have a friend. Let me see something. I have a friend. She said, how long have you known Landon? Landon is one of my guys. She said, how long have you known Landon? Landon is not family, y'all, like as far as like blood related and stuff like that. But we are still cool. We still friends. We interact with each other. We link up. We talk on the phone and all that other type of stuff. And sometimes, you know, a little bit of time will go by, depending on how busy we are as individuals. She said, how long have you known Landon? I said, since I was like three or four years old, she was like, no freaking way that you've known this guy since you were in. I met Landon in kindergarten. Me and Landon, I know y'all don't know him. This is one of my compadres. Me and my guy Landon have known each other since kindergarten, bro. When I say loyalty, when I say pouring into my people, when I say when I network with people, I network with them for life that I plan on having you. If you wind up becoming a part of my inner circle, if you wind up becoming family to me, then I plan on interacting with you for the rest of your life. And let's be clear, family has nothing to do with blood at all. Family has nothing to do with blood even a little bit. But if you wind up becoming a part of my network and I've been I've been like this since I was three and four years old, weirdly enough. She said, how long you know? Sean? I said, I know Sean. Longer than you, too, babe. I'm sorry. 
I met Sean on a bus, riding on a bus on my way downtown to Detroit. And he was like, man, this guy got to be a grown man. Thank you, babe. She said, this guy got, Sean said, this guy got to be a grown man. He got a whole full beard. We've been friends ever since. I just linked up with him at the Pistons game. He had the legend suite. He was in a legend suite. <laughs> it's real talk. These are my guys for life. I don't even know. I haven't even, I don't even know last time I talked to Landon. Let me see. Mr. Landon. I don't even be knowing what I'm going to talk about in the morning sometimes. I just be kicking it. I be telling y'all what my day is like. And that just become a part of the narrative. Hello. What up, bro? Good deal, man. Landon, I got a question for you. Now, wait. I know we haven't talked to each other in a while, but we are we live streaming right now. So I'm live on YouTube. All right. Yep. Answer to me. Answer me this question. How long have we known each other? We are almost 40 years old. How long have we known each other? Since kindergarten or preschool, so like age of four or five. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. And we all still travel in the same circle. Still. All of us. Almost four decades later, still. We all in the same circle, bro. Yeah, I mean, I see you calling. I'm like, oh, it's Anton. I'm going to answer. That's that's, that's my boy. (laughs) You know, I ain't talked to him in a year or seen him in a year or whatever, year and a half, whatever, before COVID. But I was like, oh, I'm going to answer. I've known this dude 35 plus years, so that ain't, that ain't nothing. Absolutely. Are you going to uh, harness his wedding? No, man, I ain't going. You going? Yeah, I'm going I'm to be there. I'm going to be there. So we'll see. We'll kick it. I'll call you after this, after this, after this show. All right, man. All right, bro. That's my bro. When I say that's when I call, when I call, it does not matter how long we've talked. It don't matter about what the last conversation that we had. Do you know that me and this guy and I'm using him as an example, but it's the same thing across the board. Like me and JR are brothers. There is nothing and no one and no person and no one code and no woman and no situation and no subject and no talent that'll ever in in life separate me and JR. Do you know this guy that I just called Landon? Kojak know him. Kojak know him. Shout out to Kojak in the building. Do you know that 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 Landon? It don't matter how long. If I call this guy, he is picking up the phone ASAP. ASAP. And this is a testament to the endurance by which I live my life. Meaning that the race is never given to the person that runs the fastest. It don't matter how many people you meet. It don't matter how cool you was. It don't matter how much you just shucking and jiving and doing all of this other type of stuff. It don't even matter if you come up on YouTube and you hit immediately. The endurance, the long term way in which you live your life is going to be much more lucrative than Whatever these quick hits and whatever this mindset that you have, no new friends, all of this other type of stuff, it doesn't translate. I'm telling you. When I say, and we're going to get into the show because I'm a cook today. I got a show for y'all today. When I say that I take a long-term view and a long-term perspective on every single thing that I do, I mean it. It's with my friendships. It's with my marriage. It's a lifetime. My friendships, a lifetime. My investments, a lifetime. I teach you guys in the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. I teach you guys in the Patreon that when you make your investments, these are the things that you look for in the companies that you're looking to invest in, right? On top of it, I tell y'all, on this live stream and in the Patreon, when I make my decisions, I make them off of 10, 15, 20-year investment decisions, I'm not making it based off of a meme stock. I'm not doing it based off of what's trending on Instagram and Facebook and and TikTok and and Snap. I'm not making any decision based off of a short term. I let me tell you how I stay faithful. Let me tell you how I stay faithful. When I'm talking about faithful, I'm talking about to my wife. 
It has nothing to do with whether or not I like women or women are fan and all of this other type of stuff. When I look at that chick, even beyond loving Rita, even beyond how it's going to play in my daughter's life, even beyond what it's going to do for me in the, sh in the near term. I'm always paying attention to how this person can any way, shape and form add any value to my life long term. Oh, wait a minute. She just the thing. She just fine. Listen, I don't care how fine you are, baby girl. I'm gonna need you to walk that way because ain't nothing happening over here. This is a lifetime over here. I play for forever. When I make my decisions as far as how it is that I'm going to treat people, whether or not I'm going to be ethical and why it's so easy for me to make the determination of whether or not I'm going to do somebody, do business with somebody based off of whether or not they have good character or not, I'm making it based off a lifetime decision. When I make the decision whether I'm going to do something right or wrong, I'm planning for forever. I want to go to heaven. I really take seriously whether or not I'm going to have to be accountable for every single person that I've affected and everything I've done on this earth, whether it's a, it's a ripple effect and what that butterfly effect is going to be as far as how I affect other people. It does not matter to me whether or not you are a, an adult or you, you can make a decision for yourself or, oh, they agreed to it. So listen, whatever happens after that is therefore I don't care about that. I care about my effect and whether or not I'm going to leave this earth as a better place as a result of me being here or whether I was a cancer, whether everything I did and everything that I put out was all based off of clout chasing, having fun, having a good time. If it affected somebody else negatively and it benefited me at my, um, you know, at the moment and all of this other type of stuff, I play for forever. So when I pour into you guys. When I'm having conversations, even the people that I pull up on my platform, as far as on my Patreon, that's going to be answering questions like pocket watching with JT. This is information that you can take for you for the rest of your life. You will be able to get this information. You'll be able to take the, the conversations that you had in the Patreon, the videos that you're using. You can use that and give it to your kids. That level of knowledge and information, the lifestyle, the life lessons, the information that you're getting on a regular basis. This is stuff that you can use to pour into the people that come after you. You'll be able to give this to your grandkids. And this is what I'm saying. You need to change the way you go about doing things, change the way you think about things. It's going to be the decision or the process of whether or not your kids or you decide that you want to become that neurosurgeon like the guy that I sit next to on a courtside seats at the Pistons, whether or not you can become an anesthesiologist because you have an endurance mindset. You willing to take the short term losses, forego going to the show, uh, to the show, forego going to the club, forego hanging out with your friends, having a good time, forego chilling with that chick for the street so that you can get you a chick that's gonna hold you down for a lifetime listen when Rita make decisions for me she's really making decisions for me when I met Rita and I told her and I've told this story about me telling her that she was gonna be my wife around the time that I met her and that it was no way I was gonna take her virginity and no way I was gonna use her and no way I was gonna treat her like the other chicks she didn't even know what was best for her but I did I know you're not going to believe it, but God had told me when I met Rita, that is your wife and you can trust her. She is going to hold you down for the rest of your life. That is what God told me about Rita. He said, that's your wife. You can trust her and you, she's going to be able to hold you down for the rest of your life. I was focused on the lifetime decision. It was very easy for me to marry her at 22 years old understanding that she was going to be my wife for the rest of my life. When I come to y'all and I talk to y'all on this platform and I tell you with the utmost confidence, we are going to be together forever. And there is nothing and no one that can ever separate us is because I have a track record with everybody that I've ever interacted with in my life. That's always had value to me and that I hold them down. They hold me down. And I know what I know because I truly believe and live my life accordingly. You're going to have to change your mindset if you want long term results. If you just want to keep having a hit or these small little things and all of this other little type of stuff and you want to get distracted by all of this foolishness that go on all around you. And this little chick, she 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 tapped into you. It's so easy for me to have conversations about whether or not guys with resources or whether or not when you continue to come up and you ascend how easy it is for you not to cheat or for you not to fall into a, a certain hole that some people 
plan for you. That's so easy to navigate around. It's so easy to get around. Because I play for forever. Every single thing. My YouTube channel. My YouTube presence. I've been doing this for over eight years, fam. If you think I'm going anywhere, I was uploading regularly, daily, when I had 13 people watching me every single day, well over four, five, six, seven, eight years ago. You think that I'm going to slow down? I'm going to accelerate. I'm a model of consistency. In everything I've done in my life, I'm a model of consistency. The only thing that happens is the train gets faster. But the one thing that's going to always happen, as long as I got breath in my lungs, I'm going to continue to be here. I'm going to continue to win. I'm going to continue to multiply the money that I make. I'm going to continue to pour into people. I'm going to continue to have people back. I'm going to continue to make smart investments based off of 10 and 15 and 20 year views. I'm going to continue to pour into everybody that's in my sphere and in my world. And it's going to yield the same results that it's always been success. This is the blueprint for success. There is no get rich quick schemes. There is no get rich quick stop, quick stock pick and all of that. There is no quick way in order to be able to find a wife and better effective. It's a long term perspective translated into every single thing I do. My spirituality, my finances, my relationships, my consistency on this platform, my consistency as far as nurturing, feeding and investing in businesses. That's the solution. That's the formula. I hope this helps you. I hope that you take something away from this and then you make those little small tweaks and changes that ultimately translate into long term success. That's the blueprint. If you want a chick to follow you, then be consistent. If you want your kids to believe in you, be consistent. Don't just show up on Christmas and then don't show up on a birthday. You're going to have to be consistent. And then they'll be like, you know what? I want to be just like him when I grow up. You know what? I want to marry a guy like my dad when I grow up. This is the method and the blueprint for success.